My name's Jim Gamage. For those of you that don't know me, I own um, all aboard trolley and all for you staffing. Um, a little history about how I became to know Chad is he applied for a limousine slash trolley driver. And over the couple of weeks that Chad started working for me, we developed a relationship. So Chad's not only an employee, but Chad's a very close friend. So we decided to take the best interest of Chad and do something positive. And what we've come up with is think outside the box, be a little creative, and put a business model with what Chad's about to do. So we're going to have a weigh-in with Chad. Um, a couple of things that I run my business by is I live by two different quotes. The first quote being, never underestimate the power of positive thinking. The second one, I'll wait for this truck to go by. The second quote would be, no exercise is better for the human heart than reaching down to lift another up. And that's from John Huntsman, Winners Never Cheat book um, that I read. So combine those two together, it's having a positive attitude and a positive outlook on what Chad's about to do and helping him along the way. So the idea and the model behind it is we're going to have Chad be physically active, give back to the community, and have the community give back to him all at the same time and do something good. And by doing that, once a month, we're going to have challenges. Those challenges can be anything from walking up Mount Batty to going to Mr. and Mrs. Smith's house and raking the lawn. So it's a little bit of everything. It's not just getting on the treadmill and walking. It's being active, giving back to the community, and getting that support. There are a couple things that Chad does need, one being personal trainer. Chad doesn't have health insurance, so there's an obstacle there. A nutritionist. But these are all things that we're working on. So today what we're going to do, Chad's going to have an official weigh-in so we know where to start. We've got to have a starting point. Nothing is impossible, but it's going to be a long journey. He's not going to lose weight overnight. And he's going to do it with the help of the community and the support of the community, all the while giving back to the community. So if anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. If not, I'm sure Chad wants to say a few words, and then we'll go ahead and have an official weigh-in so we know where to start. You can follow Chad on Facebook and chadridge.com. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Or good morning, everybody. Still morning. How's everybody doing? Great. Beautiful day here in Rockland. Thank you, Jim, for your great words. Um, I'd first like to introduce the team of people that I have supporting me on a daily basis. I have Jim Gamage, John Jeffers, Steve Roberts, and Rick Winslow. These gentlemen are behind me. They're my confidants. They're my life coaches. They're helping me with my website. They're helping me just as a friend. They're here for me. Everybody needs a support system, a base. But in my venture to try to get on The Biggest Loser, this became bigger than me. I found that this community, the Midcoast, came out and supported me. Walking down the street, walking through the Lobster Festival, going to meetings, people came out. Chad, I can't believe what you're doing. This is great. Good luck. When I realized that I wasn't going to make it on the show, it was time for me to make a change in my life. I saw that I had a lot of people caring about me. Last February, I lost my father, who was my best friend. But in replacement of him, I've got a whole community that's behind me here today. Not just you folks. The Facebook. I have gained over 120 friends on Facebook. Over 3,000 people hit the uh, Village Soup site. Over 3,000 people have viewed my video. That's a one-time hit. That's not somebody going on the computer and hitting it 20 or 30 times. Each person registered once on that YouTube video. That encouraged me to give back to the community. I want all of you to be inspired by what I'm doing so that you can inspire me. And Jim kind of touched on it. I'm going to be doing some challenges in the community. My first challenge is going to be on November 7th. 
I am going to walk the auto road of Mount Batty. And we, uh, it's going to be one step at a time. It's not going to be easy. But we're going to do it. And uh, what we've got done is we're going to have t-shirts for everybody. So if you want to come out and encourage me, if you want to walk part of it, or if you want to meet me halfway, but I really would like to have people at the top. So when I'm coming up that last stretch, to really be there to help me, because it's going to be a challenge. Nothing's easy in life. For me, it's my weight loss. For some people, it's alcohol. For some people, it's cigarettes. For other people, it's emotional issues. Don't let not having insurance, not having a family member stop you. Make the right choice. Get out there and get the help that you need from your friends, your family, your community. And as a community, as a whole, anything, anything is absolutely positive. So I thank each and every one of you for taking your time out of today and joining me every morning, Monday through Friday, 6.15. I'll be departing from the Harbor Master's house, walking the boardwalk. It's about a 20 minute walk. It's nice, refreshing. We like to bring a... We like to bring the sun up. We just reeled up with a fishing rod. So bring your fishing rod so we can pull the sun up out of the clouds. And then at noontime, Monday through Friday, we'll be leaving from right here in the chamber and we'll be walking uh, a path right around the city just to get out and smell the fresh air at noontime. For those of you that want to get out and walk the city, I would ask that everybody walk with me today. After I'm done doing this way and in just a second with my new best friend here, um, I'm going to do the 20 minute loop just down Main Street and back and we're going to come right back here. I'd really encourage people to join me in my first walk of Main Street. Um, again, thank you for taking your time. Thank you for following me and keep following me. This isn't going to be like The Biggest Loser where you're going to see me lose 10 pounds a week. It's not a miracle. One step at a time, one pound at a time, and the outcome will be wonderful. My goal is to get down to uh, 250 pounds. So I'm whatever I am today, and that's the ball starts today. So again, I can't say it enough. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for supporting me, and let me support you by your supporting me. Final thing that I'm going to say is community aspect. Um, the Liberties, by offering me a health membership to use their pool. You know, Elizabeth coming out taking pictures. New Wave coming out and taking video and helping me with my website. And of course, these gentlemen here with the emotional support and just the friendship and the mentoring that you folks are giving me. That's what's needed. And if there's anybody in the community that would like to get involved, you can go to my website and, uh, you know, either, either publicly or confidentially, shoot us an email and let us know if you'd like to get involved in some way. If you'd like to join our walking club, um, you can also sign up chadridge.com. That's where all the updates, all the videos are going to be. So uh, please feel free to visit that as much as possible. And without further ado, my new best friend, Jim, do you want to come and be able to read the number and just step on it? Hello. Now step off it. I'm ready. Now step on it. Here we go. Four hundred and seventy-two point six pounds. Four hundred and seventy-two point six pounds. Well, we have some work to do. We do. <laughs> well, folks, <laughs> I think it's time to start a walk.